Welcome to episode 261 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host, and today we're going to talk about why less than the best is usually a really good thing. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. You know, this is a transition week where we are going to move from February 2023 to March 2023. And if you live in upstate New York, like I do in Syracuse, it's always a mental switch for me where spring is actually getting close. Now, I know that for everyone who lives in upstate New York, upstate New York, you know that that may not be true. We could get cold and snow all the way through March, but... We start to get those chains of like multiple 50 degree days in a row, um, but even 45 and sunny feels really good in upstate New York. And that transition kind of puts me in spring mode. Now, I know I'm a little early for spring mode or spring cleaning mode in Syracuse. However, gets my mind there. And whenever like you, I think changing of the seasons really from summer to fall and from uh, winter to spring I usually get in this mindset of like, hey, let's let's improve some things. It's a great opportunity to get things going and start things new. So I get this like this urge about me to start like looking for ways to like sizably take a step forward. I'm I'm the kind of person that, you know, my mindset in general is this kind of constant improvement, always looking for things to make better, always looking for things to do better, improve better, get a little bit ahead, uh, you know, new opportunities. It's just how I'm wired. But in those two seasons, I tend to, you know, like step that up a little bit. And I know that a lot of people uh, do that as well. It's just the natural changing of the seasons and kind of uh, shift in the patterns we have here in the U.S. So it's got me thinking that sometimes, sometimes we neglect taking a good improvement and an improvement in a direction because it might not be the super ideal situation or the thing that we might be doing might not be total top shelf or might not be the very best thing that eventually we could do. And what that does sometimes I think is it paralyzes people or it gives you an excuse to not make a good improvement, right? Maybe it's not like the best, biggest, most gigantic step you could take in the area, but it would be an improvement. And a lot of times I think you can use that, I can use that to shut that off in my mind and say, well, I'm gonna wait until I can do that best thing. Or even in giving someone advice on how they could do better or taking a look at someone's situation and seeing how they've made a step forward, but it's easy to be like, yeah, but, but there's a better way. And if you say, but there's a better way and you discount all the improvement, I think you actually miss a lot of opportunity to take the incremental steps that you need to actually get to the best. I'll give you some examples. I mean, this really works pretty holistically um, across, um, across areas of life. I talk about business a lot. I'm not just talking about business right now. I'm talking about life as well, which is one of the reasons I love this podcast that I do. Um, you know, I, I do many podcasts, but this one specifically, because it's very much focused on getting perspective in all of life that help, um, you know, hopefully help move us forward. So can you imagine if you were gonna like take on a new diet or a new health regimen um, you know, in fitness regiment, and you're saying like, okay, what I'm going to start doing is cutting out soda from my diet, and I'm going to start walking for 20 minutes a day. Now, it's very, very easy for someone to look at that and be like, yeah, but really what you should be doing is cutting out carbs from your diet, not just soda, and you should be doing 30 minutes of cardio a day, not just walking, and some strength training would be nice, and some supplements, and, and, and. And all of a sudden, the cutting out soda and the walking 20 minutes might very quickly move to, why bother? Might very quickly move to the sense like, oh, maybe I don't even need to do that. What's, what's the point if I'm not gonna go all the way with it? Or even that second diet, that middle where we're cutting out carbs and we're doing 30 minutes of cardio and strength training and supplements, you can get a super you know, a, a more elevated level of fitness person or, or strategy and be like, well, actually you should cut the carbs, go full keto, um, you know, 30 minutes of cardio, one hour strength training. You should start doing, you know, 30 minutes in the sauna and an ice bath and, 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 right? There's always going to be something 
that is better or more elite. In business, it'd be really easy to go this way and say, like, well, I'm going to make this incremental improvement in my tech platform, or I'm going to make this incremental improvement in my daily routine. I'm going to start getting up this much earlier. I'm going to start um, make scheduling a 15-minute meeting with my leader on this. Well, actually, what would really, really be good is if you, you wrote out this whole strategic plan and then you scheduled you know, six months worth of meetings and then you actually started to execute and measure, right? And all of a sudden, that can get really debilitating or you start in and you know, what actually happens is you get discouraged and you stop. So the, th the thinking, my broad thinking about this is the real win every single day, the real win isn't the best thing you do. It is the thing that you do, the incremental thing that you do. Because every little moment, every little step forward, every little improvement, and sometimes that improvement is just paying attention to something. Doesn't even necessarily need you need to change anything. Sometimes the incremental improvement is like, I'm gonna start watching this. I'm gonna start watching this area of the numbers or sales. I'm going to start paying attention to how I feel after I have a conversation with that person. Sometimes is that's what it comes down to in a relationship that you feel like might not be healthy for you. Sometimes I might just start paying attention to the way that person acts when I do this, right? I might start paying more attention to my kids when they come home from school. All of those incremental improvements. It's not having to do the best thing right now, it's actually the thing that you start doing right now that is the, the, the reason to get forward. So I, I hope that through even talking about this, I can free up some of your thinking and free up some of you from the idea that it has to be 100% or 0%. Because actually, a 10% improvement is really good because if you make a 10% improvement, you know, I've, I've heard a lot of people, if you make a 10% improvement consistently over time, you're going to make substantial increases in a very short period of time. And, I, you know, I've heard people talk about the 1%, just get 1% better every day. How much harder is it to get 1% better every day? Well, the answer to that is, in the beginning, it's probably really easy. But as you start getting really good, 1% is much harder to achieve. But the point is, a little bit better every day is so much better than zero and Again, my intention of making this is that maybe I free some of you up, free myself up, even as I'm talking about this, from needing it to be the best, the best you can get, the most intense every day. And I'm freeing that up to saying, like, actually, there's lots of people that just can't get there yet. They're not even close to getting to the best. I see this in, I see this in businesses all the time. You go in and you look at their operations and, you know, as a consultant, you look at their, their brand marketing or their tech platforms or their overall operations and you're like, you know, there are a lot of things that are a mess around here. And really what you need to do is change all of these things. But guess what? Too overwhelming. They're never going to do it. It is very, very rare that you have an operator who's willing to go in and just wholesale change the thing. And in most cases, that's not... That's not the answer, especially if you want to bring the people with you on the change. You need to make incremental changes slowly. You need to be consistent with it. And then you'll get a little bit closer to the ideal over time. So that's my point today. I thought, I've been thinking about it. I thought I'd share it today in this season between February and March when the seasons are starting to change, or at least in Syracuse, we hope they're starting to change. But it's a good mindset to have going into the spring season and going into the rest of the year now that we're through like New Year's and January, February, like, okay, we've taken an inhale. Now it's time to run. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for commenting and sending me messages and all that stuff too. I love it. I'm here for you. I'll encourage you any way I can. I'll help you any way I can. Till next week, pursue that clarity. We can